One of the most fun things about building a new LEGO set is seeing the clever building techniques that the designer came up with and figuring out ways to use these techniques in your own builds. Today we'll be looking at some subtle but incredibly clever solutions that LEGO has put into sets over the years. One of the smallest but cleverest uses for a piece that's popped up in a few different sets is this fishbowl. This little guy has made a splash in the Sesame Street, Cinderella's Castle, and Seinfeld sets, and if you haven't noticed, it's actually nothing more than just a clear minifigure head with a unique print. This means you can turn basically any minifigure into a walking, talking fish with just a single headpiece. This set of Poe Dameron's X-Wing Fighter isn't anything special at first glance. With just 72 pieces, this polybag was a fun enough build, but there's really nothing else unique about it. That is, until you take a closer look at the back of the ship. It's a bit hard to spot with the images on the front of the packaging, but if you look closely, you can notice that the engines are the same bright orange as the body, and instead of creating a new piece for a little polybag, the designer, Henrik Anderson, noticed that the existing LEGO carrot piece was the perfect size, shape, and color to make it the perfect solution here. A carrot-powered X-Wing? Sure, why why not? Speaking of food, LEGO has a pretty long history of using tasty treats in very unusual ways. The LEGO coin piggy bank came out in 2015 with 148 parts. It is a functional piggy bank, which is cool, and it does have one very notable creative addition. Up on the admittedly adorable face, this little guy has some pretty expressive eyebrows. Zoom in a bit, and it becomes apparent that something is definitely a little weird though. Yep, those are hot dogs. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like it's a little weird to use a hot dog as part of a pig. Or maybe that's exactly the point. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. LEGO has managed to sneak in a few hot dogs into other sets as well, and without the external horror of dressing a pig in pork. The Wildflower Banquet is an amazingly colorful set, with 939 pieces used to make some very impressive displays. But buried deep in this set is something that we've never really seen before, a green hot dog. Now, while the thought of a bright green sausage might be enough to make your stomach turn, these were used as stems for some of the smaller flowers in the package. This set also had a few other unique parts like pink and purple admiral's hats, flame yellow and violet paddles, as well as bright blue and bright green crowns. Overall, the botanical sets are really great examples of just how versatile LEGO pieces can be. LEGO's creativity goes both ways, though. For example, in both the Pizza Van and the Heart Lake Shopping Mall sets, we can see minifigures enjoying some delicious crispy fries. Sadly, LEGO has never given us an official pack of fries as a LEGO piece, so they had to make do with a simple yellow crystal. It certainly looks the part, but maybe not the best choice for your teeth. Now, it is amazing what just a quick color swap can do to a piece's look and function, but sometimes less is more. In 2021's Police Station set, we got a set packed with detail. One of my favorite little bits has got to be the stonework along the roof. You may recognize these pieces as wolf heads that appear in many of the LEGO Minecraft sets. By turning them upside down, designer Chris McVeigh was able to create a truly one-of-a-kind build. It might not seem like much, but building a good-looking masonry can be a real challenge, and this set provided one of the most unique solutions I've ever seen. Now, this same set had at least one other clever piece usage. The bushes out front look absolutely great, and they are some of the best I've ever seen. By stacking a few offset dark green pieces like these, or paint splatter pieces is what I like to call them, it becomes super easy to get some incredible potted plants that are perfect minifigure scale. LEGO's Winter Village sets are one of the company's most beloved ongoing themes. Every year, these sets manage to surprise and delight with just how creatively they capture the feeling of walking in a winter wonderland. 2010's Winter Village Bakery set is a great addition to any holiday display. With 687 pieces, this box contained a small bakery, an ice skating rink, a ticket counter, a horse-drawn carriage, and seven minifigures. Well, technically seven and a half. It seems that someone got a little overconfident on the ice and managed to crash face first into a snowbank. While the detail itself is just a funny little gag, the way the designer pulled it off is just great. By using an inverted roof tile and a few clips, some minifigure legs can be easily attached to give the illusion of a poor minifigure forever frozen in a snowbank. Another great feature of this set is the Christmas lights hanging above the bakery's windows and hanging over the ice rink. These are super simple, just a rope, some clips, and some transparent studs, but the effect is perfect. Another take on some hanging lights can be found in the Elf Clubhouse set from 2020. It's effectively the same design, but they've replaced the clips and studs with some holders with tubes and globes. This is admittedly a small change, but it really does make a big difference in the final result. 
Sometimes though, getting clever isn't about using pieces where they don't belong, but rather it's more about doing something unexpected with them. The LEGO Bonsai Tree and Ship in a Bottle sets are some of the best display pieces on the market today, but they have something more subtle in common. They both feature some of LEGO's strangest steps. At various points in each build, you're presented with a step that calls for a few hundred pieces. This alone is enough to make even the most seasoned builder pause and think about what they're doing with their afternoon. But once the initial shock wears off, the step is actually about as easy as anything could ever be. Just dump a bag of studs in and you're ready to call it a day. While these might be some of LEGO's most piece-intensive steps, they're also some of the easiest that I've ever come across. If you can think of any other crazy instructions, let me know in the comments. Now, any shelf with both of these sets is just egging for the LEGO Globe as a companion. This is one of LEGO's most unique, functional, and technical sets that the company has ever released, and it needed a few tricks to get this thing onto shelves. For starters, it's a sphere. That's a task that is vastly difficult to do with a toy that's so blocky. But the designer Samuel Johnson managed to pull it off by turning the sphere into a series of flat segments to be folded together, kind of like the reverse of peeling an orange. While this does make the build itself a bit tedious, the end result is certainly worth the effort. While building this set though, many people find themselves a bit stumped at what seems to be a completely unnecessary addition, a set of wheels. At first, many thought this was some kind of extra support or something to help it spin, but the answer is even simpler. Turns out that this is just used as some extra weight to keep the globe resting in a nice display position. It helps the set always return to the perfect display angle. Now, how about one of my favorite sets from the past couple years? The Medieval Blacksmith from 2021 makes heavy use of these angled tile pieces to create what might just be the single best looking roof that LEGO has ever put out in a set. While this isn't exactly genius in the way that some of the other building techniques in this video were, this result is simply breathtaking. Garmadon's Dark Fortress is one of Ninjago's most iconic sets and also one of my all-time favorites. I love the skeleton-themed spider that's attached to the front of the fortress, but it's a lot more than just a decoration. You see, although this arachnid only has six legs, which always confused me, the simple yet clever technique used to launch this spooky creature from the fortress wall is still one of my favorites to this day. There's a pretty large red button on the back of the fortress build, and if you press that red button in, the spider will jump off the wall of the fortress and onto the ground where it's sure to surprise any ninja that may be approaching. But that's not the only thing that may scare the ninja whenever they're in the underworld, because in this set there's also a coffin included, and when you press down on this red brick, the top of the coffin pops off and a skeleton comes out. Talk about a jump scare. This is a simple but also a really neat play feature, especially considering that this set is from 2011. And luckily, many of the incredible sets that we looked at in this video are still available online. Use the YouTube shopping product links in the description to check them out. What other genius building techniques have you spotted in LEGO sets? Comment below. Click here to see the most valuable LEGO misprints, and don't forget to subscribe for more LEGO videos.